Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Good morning from Germany. Today is going to be probably carnage. It's Easter weekend. We're heading to the Nürburgring. We are here this morning at Esser Automotive for the drive over with probably over 100 supercars. We're going to be taking a look around at what's here and then hopping into the Zenvo. Yes, we have transported the Zenvo TSRS out here to Germany to drive it today, giving chase to the Koenigsegg CCXR and who knows what else. That SVJ has a Gintani exhaust. We have a full carbon 765 LT Spider. There are plenty of other cars we need to go and check out and then when we get to the ring yeah it's going to be interesting later on mark my words we've also got my lotus samira and shelby gt500 over that away which will be driven by gt by brad by tony from turbo transport and yeah this is going to be a good fun day out the first proper drive with the zenvo since i did soc last year and well it might be a little bit greasy and damp we'll see how it goes but either way it's going to be pretty special so let's do this <laughs> I think the briefing has just ended. Everybody is quickly emerging, but SVJs, GT3 RSs, GT4, in fact, GT2 RS MR next to brand new 992 GT3 RS. There are actually two of these. I haven't even seen a customer car out anywhere prior to today. If we keep squeezing on through though, to quickly have a look around here, Viola Pacife, Hurricane STO. Now that's the color we actually modeled my Lila Perlamor for the Zenvo on. You will notice if you see them side by side, maybe we'll get that later. The Zenvo has more pearl, more black ink to it and it creates a more dynamic color should we say obviously the sto got a new 296 walking past the pista the other gt3 rs just here sf90 check out this sto in the green with the gold painted accent pack we've got another sto i think that must be very scandal that lime green over that away obviously the amira which is now fully run in i should point out and will be doing nurburgring laps same story for the gt500 saturn crew are here as well with the vantage aventador's sf90s plenty more on this side but that's only half of it because over this away on the other side of the car park are even more cars to join today's supercar run r8s porsches m cars so much more over there as well loads of amg gts i can spot also there's even a senna there's even a senna down towards the far end as well so yes fun ahead probably a lot of noise ahead as well everybody getting started very shortly so we better go and get ourselves lined up in the zenvo and then it's time to drive it over to the ring right it's all happening the aventador was just revving it was very 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 loud key in the center here all of the whirs and electrical noises as everything gets prepared press the button there we go all right so we've got a bit more fuel in here than i thought we did but we will probably need a stop before long in just a second we'll have everybody else starting and then i think we're going to be basically leading the way so prepare for this get ready it's convoy time time to roll out so we are following the koenigsegg ccxr in the zenvo tsrs as we get this started we'll form up a little bit further down the line but for the moment this is going to be uh yeah Zenvo and Egg. Out we roll. Okay. So we're in Power IQ, which is the, let's say, 800 horsepower rather than the full 1200 horsepower. And we're in road gearbox settings rather than race gearbox settings. Just to, I mean, I haven't driven it for a couple of weeks, right? I haven't driven it since before I went to the US. So I just need to get my head back on the ground and familiar with what the car is about. And then we'll kind of go from there. And while everybody just pulls out, this is what's quite funny. In the rear view camera slash mirror, we have the SVJ behind us. <laughs> okay, we'll just get kind of away from here a touch to line up and then, then it will be go time. Well, this is our first taste of the German Autobahn in the Zenvo, the Koenigsegg out in front leaving some fairly big gaps because, well, firstly, damp, secondly, stone chips or anything like that. We've got the SVJ somewhere behind, but basically we're about to have some twisty road driving. We'll maybe do a run on the Autobahn when the weather clears up. We'll see how it goes. But for the moment, this is like two minutes back into this car and it's so dramatic. It's so, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just, I can't quite believe this is actually my car, I think is the main thing. It's only 200 kilometers an hour, but we're coming to a speed restricted section. And the flurry of the superchargers is also absolutely crazy. Everything that I'm listening to when I drive this thing, 
I just, <laughs> I'm gonna let a few cars go just for the fun of this. We've got some of the Porsches, 992 GT3. Oh, the SVJ's next, hold your ears. Whoa! <laughs> and that was without even the window open. Okay, now it's going to become the restricted, but also a traffic jam. So um, this is where we find the hazards. It's probably one of the first times I press those in this car. Unfortunately, <laughs> that <is> so loud. <laughs> Gosh, I mean, <laughs> we're next to a curly egg on the autobahn. Over the years, I've shot so many cool things with the guys at Essa. Just so much fun, so many amazing drives in different cars. But today is starting with a traffic jam. That's less than ideal. Finally, the de-restricted signs, the road opens. It's also looking a little bit more dry, which we quite like. And an opportunity to uh, watch out for all of the traffic right now, for sure. <laughs> okay, away we go. The thing is, I barely accelerated. You have no idea, but that's like 140 miles an hour. Just taking it pretty easily. In a car like this that has as much power as this, if you're not going for it, you're still going very fast, it just doesn't translate, and that's something that's really strange. It's a sensation, like really strange to get used to. I was just taking that easy. We're in low power mode. Um, I can press gear and things get a little bit more violent. In fact, the shifts get so much rougher, but that's what it's about. That's the drama. Oh, that's so fast. This is where it probably starts to kick out some flames for the people behind. That's quite fun. People out for, I think, a cycling event today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Away we go. Still in road mode here. Gosh, violence. It's super sketchy out here. You have no idea. When I loosely accelerate, loose on the throttle, the tail is just wiggling around everywhere. So, as kind of expected, we need to take it really, really carefully today. We need to be super, super gentle because we want to be bringing these cars home in one piece if we can. There are also speed cameras everywhere here. There's another one just there, these black towers. They're quite subtle, you don't really spot them. But um, yeah, this is um, the height of slippiness. Just watch out through every corner at any speed. Yep, even there, even on the shift, it just, tweaks the car a little bit because of the the ground. I don't think it's quite hit me yet how absurd it is that I'm driving in my Zembo following a Koenigsegg on twisty roads driving towards the Nürburgring. This is not in the uh, the playbook shall we say and now it's drying up a little bit. This thing is just I mean slamming in the gears. <laughs> <laughs> the road opens and it's, it's hard to really explain because if I go full throttle, half a second is all we get and that's kind of it because that's all you can basically do it. But this car is just, I mean, drop the gear, open road, dry patch. Silly. We're taking it easily to just enjoy moments like that for a moment. Oh, we've got an, is that an RSQ8? Yes, going past as well. Just basically chilling out because the other problem is this. Uh, we're at zero fuel and um, zero fuel is not particularly ideal when you're in the middle of nowhere in the Eiffel Mountains. So I'm kind of hoping we're gonna be able to find something, but we might need to just pull over, zero the mind, work out where we're going and then drive because if we keep driving in the wrong direction that's going to be a major problem very soon this is quite fun all the cars heading off taking off in that direction oh gosh i've got to balance in my head how much do i boot it and how much do i not that's not normal right i'm gonna uh, see if we can let some cars no we can't i need to find a lay-by because i don't want to keep driving without fuel we haven't had a single lay-by since I mentioned it. M4 CSL. Nice. Hadn't seen that in the car park. SF90 STO. And Pista. Right, I'm going to pull in here. Oh, there's another STO coming by right now as well. Let me just park here, though, until I've worked this out. 
we'll stop here. Not entirely sure what's happening in front of us here. GT3 coming towards us. Police coming past, or police in front. They've clearly pulled over cars, but we want to go to the petrol station here. Well, this is all very confusing. Effectively, the police have kind of pulled everyone over. I want to go to the petrol station that's here. I'm just not quite sure how you get there. Maybe we've got to do this awkward ramp. Ooh, in a car like this. Okay, that's what I have to do. We'll make it round. No idea why, because obviously we have been driving very, very, very slowly today. Like very slowly, especially when we have zero. So in this car, it is on my side. Just do we have, do we have 98 or are we gonna have to deal with 95? I guess we're gonna have to deal with 95 is what it is. Well, this has been interesting. Um, document checks, all sorts of things. Some people might have had some very small tickets for going over the limit, very small, but also doing all the tough checks with cars. These are completely standard. All three of these cars are completely stock, so nothing really to go through. But as you can see, we've spent a bit of time going through documents and being told off. I don't really know for what. We're actually right by the border. The petrol station over there is in Belgium, and we're in Germany. And it is what it is, but hey, this has been an interesting interlude with lots of cameras, lots of people, and lots of document checks. This has been quite unplanned. Um, let me just, GT500 starts. This starts because, um, I mean, we just drove down the wrong road and got pretty unlucky. And basically because of UK plates, they've checked everything, like tire tread, ride height, all of that. And it's been quite interesting because obviously the GT500 was imported from the US and went through the UK processes. This is of course a pretty one-off type thing as well, it was also imported into the UK, kind of like that through the whole IVA system. So to explain all of that with the officers here has been basically a case of me recounting everything I learned while we were doing it all, because my car was actually used for TÜV tests as well in Germany. So it came over to go through all of that Anyway, we are now allowed to drive away. So <laughs> through we head. <laughs> Gosh, there are like, I don't know, 25, 30 officers here, which is quite funny. But we are released. I don't entirely know where we're going. I suppose I better make the plan, but it's quite funny that we've ended up with our little entourage. I should point out at this stage that that was a completely general police stop. It was nothing to do with the run that we're on specifically. It was basically the location where they had a few bits of equipment set up. They had a film crew set up as well. So maybe this will be on TV at some point. I'm sure some of you guys will let me know if it is, which is kind of funny. But they were going through everything, these little credit card type things to measure the ride height. Like I said, talking about how the whole TUV process and IVA process in the UK works behind the homologation of a vehicle like this, of the GT500, checking even the inside edges of the tires. But obviously this was pulling over every car in the group. There were cars as well that were also on the road being pulled over. I'm sure extra attention just because of supercars. You know, you have roads like this, actually it opens up. We can accelerate a little bit here. Of course, people are out to have some fun. It's Easter weekend, but um, I do find it quite funny that when we went past the police check, I must have been driving at like half the speed limit because I was panicking about having no fuel. I still barely got any because I only popped a few litres in of 95 when we go to the next station to get some good stuff. But absolutely panicking about it, taking it super gently. And then they pull us over and I didn't really know what was happening at first. I kind of just assumed everybody was being stopped. It was like a control test. I didn't realise that they wanted to pull us over or me over. I didn't realise I had done something and as it turns out I haven't done anything wrong or didn't do anything wrong. It's just really, really funny how all of that evolved. That was not what I expected today at all. We have good news. We've got a full tank of 98 in here and in the GT500, but not bothering with the Amira because that one thankfully is reasonably efficient. Now we will go to our checkpoint. A little bit later than planned, but hey, we'll get there. That's what matters. And nobody's in trouble for anything. I can't get over where today is going. It's just one of those completely random odd days that has not evolved in the way that any of us expected. But my first time being pulled over in the Zenvo is actually quite exciting. My first time being busted for nothing, which is odd, but hey, we will 
continue now and having the good fuel in here, I can actually pop it back into uh, whichever driving mode I would like. And it's drying up as well, which is also very welcome. Very, very, very welcome. Plus, I've just realized we have my two carbon fiber wheeled cars with us in this little group, with this and the GT500. So we definitely need to be careful of that stuff, but the road opens here, so back on the power. It's just ridiculous. Like I can't, I'm taking it easily. I just can't accelerate as much as this allows you to do on, the, on, like, on a normal road like this, it's impossible. We are arriving here at our checkpoint where they very kindly set up some parking and also have some lunch for us. So we're going to see where we can kind of squeeze in. Where there's a will, there's a way. Ooh, I'm just taking my time. It's okay. <laughs> the police wanted to check everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're late arrivals. Lots of cars are leaving. GT3 RS, oh, there's a Roma. GT3 Touring, oh, that GT Black Series, that is painted in green and it looks stunning. Really, really, really nice. I remember seeing pictures of that before I had repainted mine. Very envious. Turbo in yellow, F12, it's completely rollout time for the onslaught of cars here at the moment, which is very nice. This I'm going to point out a little bit more because this full carbon bodied 765 is really quite something all the interior with the orange accents and details around it as well um, and just cars after cars after cars getting ready to hit the final leg over to the Nürburgring which we will be doing in just a moment as well lots of STOs maybe time to roll yep <laughs> maybe not part of it but um, that's a lot of cars joining this run a lot of cars this car park was completely full a moment ago I'm actually going to come and walk up here. We've got the 296 and we've got the Senna as well. The Viola Pacife STO is rolling out on the other side. 296, look at this design with the white and the silver accents and details over that. Very cool, very cool. What else do we have around? Didn't even know. Oh yes, the CSL. And for CSL, it's probably the first customer. That's definitely not standard on the AMG GTR. But yeah, all right, that was definitely the Lambo, but everybody is rocking and rolling, heading to Nürburgring, heading to the final stages of today's fun and antics. Koenigsegg rollout, in fact the Senna's here as well, how cool is that? CCXR, Zenvo, Senna, GT4, 765, GT3 RS, all carnage. We're going to roll on in a minute as well and take this over to the ring. We're back on the road. We're approaching Nürburgring territory. A couple of Lambos, Balboni, and a heavily modified Guyana as well. I suspect that there are going to be a lot of interesting cars around here as we make our way now down towards the final stretch and some photographers hanging out the back of the car in front as well <laughs> to top it off. So we are going from here over to Apex Nürburgring. It's kind of become a bit of a tradition. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but it's become a bit of a tradition that we head there on the afternoon of today, which is kind of nicknamed locally as Car Fry Tag, um, Easter weekend, Easter Friday, uh, to go and say hello to Misha and to Robert and to everyone over that away. And of course, to bring the Zembo over as well for those that would like to see it over in town. So this last stretch, we've got a couple of cars in a line behind us, but basically taking it easy as we make our way over because we'd like today to end with no further trouble. Ideally, that's the plan, fingers crossed. It's been about an hour, but we're finally at the boulevard and look how many people are around. I cannot believe it has taken an hour to get this far. <laughs> but we're here and actually now that we're here, we're kind of just driving straight through, which is amazing to think about how much traffic we've had to sit in to get this far. And now it just kind of opens up and we roll on down under the bridge where there are a ton of people. I'm amazed by how smooth that has now been. But this is the Nürburgring Boulevard and look how busy it is. <laughs> this is absolutely packed. My word, and obviously now tons of people are coming and running and stuff as well to get the photos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know what? I've said it before, I'm not doing a lap with this, not this weekend anyway. 
but to be able to let so many people see it, because a Zenvo is not exactly a common car, is one of the coolest things. I, just to be able to bring this, and it's a major pinch moment for myself. Like, this doesn't make any sense. But here we are, and just kind of working it out as we go. Absolutely crazy, the number of people lining the streets here. This just goes on and on. The bridge here as well, outside the info center. Oh, there's a Lambo over there. There's another orange Gallardo. I feel like we've seen a bunch of orange Gallardos today. You just have to believe me in the traffic jam. That's probably the one we drove past earlier that still or beat, managed to beat us here. <laughs> Who even knows? Oh my word. Believe it or not, we seem to have escaped some of the traffic as we now head through effectively the town. Now this is going to be quite the shift. Oh, in race, it's so violent. It's so like just a massive bang. You feel it completely through you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're moving. We're genuinely moving. I'm going to pop it back into road gearbox setting because we are about to arrive at Apex just down in front of us. I'm actually surprised it's not busier here. Oh, SV. Ventador SV just chilling there. Look at this, the road is empty. All of a sudden we've had that massive, massive, massive traffic jam and now nothing. Now we just cruise through, completely cruise through here. Lots of people in the road, which makes it difficult. But man, this is busy. This is really, really, really busy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and pull into Apex somehow. Oh my days, at least I know we can get through. <laughs> uh. Well, we've made it, we are parked up. <laughs> This is so busy. <laughs> Madness here at the Nürburgring and at Apex Nürburg. There's definitely a Camaro that just made some 11s up the road right there. It's carnage. It's the Nürburgring and there have been, well, it's a little bit of time later. So some of the cars that were here have now all gone. There's a very nice car right here, actually. Lovely Porsche Cayman GT4 RS. No secret that I quite like the 718 GT4 RS. You never know. But today has been quite the mad day obviously we had the drive over with the Amira and with the GT500 I'm going to spend more time in the Amira still to come on the tour but yesterday driving the GT500 today has been all about the Zenvo today has been just the mad experience of this thing I mean it looks mad when you're standing next to it right having a massive wing on the back like this the whole like we're knowing what it is and it needs to be driven for the right occasion and I cannot stress that enough I've obviously made that quite clear over the time so far that I only really want to drive it if I know I'm going to enjoy that day. I know I'm going to have fun out with it as there are just endless nice cars driving past in the background. And today has been mega, even if it was not entirely as planned when we then proceeded to get pulled over and the cops were with their TV crews basically looking for anything. But thankfully, of course, no further issues, no disasters. We escaped unscathed from that little incident. I feel like there's about to be a GT3 RS reversing back down this way, so we might need to hover out the way. 60 seconds at the Nürburgring on Easter weekend. I don't even know what that is. Mitsubishi. All right then, pops and bangs galore. We've had quite the traffic jam. We've had some amazing roads to drive on with the team from Essa. Chasing the Koenigsegg feels like it was a golf maybe of some sort. Chasing the Koenigsegg feels like a very long time ago. 100 plus supercars out on the road, pulled over by the police to try and find something wrong with the Zenvo because it's unusual and they just felt like it couldn't meet homologation standards, except of course I've got all the paperwork and all of that's good. And then coming here over to Apex is a big thanks to Robert Misha and the whole team at Apex for hosting us as always with the cars out here. And now in the drizzle, as the day goes by, it's pretty cold. Last year it was really sunny for this weekend. So it's probably about time to pack things up for the night. Go ahead, check into our hotel and um, yeah, have a rest because today has been a long one after a very early start and we've got a lot to come because while I might not be taking the Zembo out on the ring, we have an Amira and we have a GT500 here and both of those need to do some laps. So stay tuned for that and plenty more. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.